In this video, I'm gonna take you to my top four stores that I use to buy things for my office, such as decorations, counseling resources, such as books, fidgets, toys, and all the things that make my office a warm and inviting space for students. So come with me and I'm gonna share how I get resources for my counseling lessons and how I decorate my office without breaking the bank. And I do value your time, so I'm gonna put timestamps below so that you can skip to the parts that you wanna see if that's what you would love to do. So I'm sitting here in the Chick-fil-A parking lot about to enjoy my lunch, but before we go shopping, I just wanted to share five essential items that you need for your office space or classroom to make it warm and inviting. When we go shopping, we're gonna look at a focal point. That's a piece of framed art that you can use to like bring attention to your room. We're gonna look at some motivational posters or positive affirmations. We're gonna look at like little decorations that we can use for our bookshelves or our desk. We're gonna look at books and resources for classroom counseling lessons. We're gonna explore comfortable seating arrangements for our office space. Keep in mind, there may be some bonus things that we see along the way that might look good for our office or our classroom, but it's okay. So we're gonna start off with one of my favorite spots to buy things for my students and for my office, and that's Five Below. Not only is Five Below inexpensive, but you can find so many things that are amazing here as far as like school supplies, office decorations, or just things that students will need for interventions like games and resources for lessons and all that stuff. So let's go inside and check out what Five Below has to offer. If you ever want to get some puzzles for your office, again, come to places like Five Below and check out all the things that they have for all grade levels, elementary, middle, and even high school that you can have in your office. Five Below is also a really good spot to get some uh, fidgets and things that students need for calming down. So as you can see here, they've got plenty of these poppets that really are really famous right now with students. It's a Zen garden that you can purchase for your office. They've got plenty of sensory toys and sensory balls that you can use for any grade level and that you can place them in a unique space for your office when students come in. Sports balls here, little noise makers, little rubber chicken. This is pretty funny and it can be used to open up conversations and get students uh, comfortable with speaking with you. They've got lots of really inexpensive games, like if you want to get some UNO cards. UNO is one of the best ways to get students to feel comfortable in opening up in individual sessions and in group sessions. I've actually used UNO with emotion regulation and zones of regulation, so it's pretty fun that you can be innovative and create different ways to connect with students with your games. Got like checkers and chess, and little mini board games that you can play. Like, what's this, meme boards? Family Feud, things based on TV shows like The Office or Seinfeld. You've got classic games like chess and checkers. Normally I don't pay attention to stuffed animals because I don't work at elementary school anymore, but these are pretty inexpensive and they're pretty cute. And they're really soft too. Now if we come to the part where they have decorations for your office. So you've got bins depending on what kind of look you want to go for. You can use these trays to put your fidget items in. Look, more plushies. These are actually pretty cool. They're cuter than the other ones I saw. Like this one, this one's really cute. Now, as far as wall art, they've got some different shelves that you can place on your wall. They're pretty easy to use. All you just put a little nail right here and, and actually hang it on your wall. They've got, again, more storage bins these photo frames and magnetic boards. I actually like this, I might get one of these. And if you like greenery, they've got different options for you. They've got some garland that you can put on your room. They've got some paintings or some pictures of me. So if you buy those little shelves that I mentioned just a minute ago and you put these on the shelf, they make for great decorations. It's a little bonsai plant. I think this is a bonsai plant. Looks very similar to one. Reminds me of Karate Kid. If you're going for that boho look, they've got some little wall decals that you can use. These are pretty cool. They've got little mirrors. And 
candles and different scents and plant holders. And then you've got lots of LED lights. Oh, this one's pretty cool, this gold. That would look really good in, in my office, actually. I have one of these that says love and it lights up pink. And I, of course I bought it from here, five below. Here's another Zen garden that would be pretty cool. Students really feel comfortable with these. So if you want to do aromatherapy, oh look, they've got the scents and everything. I've got lavender, tea tree, peppermint. I love peppermint. Got more storage bins. These are pretty cool. Again, depending on the color scheme that you want to use for your classroom or your office. These clear pink ones are really cool. And now let's look at options for shelving. They've got some shelves that you can hang up on your wall. Again, where you can put those plants on. And different rug options to make it look really neat and colorful in your room. Like I like this one. More fountains and shelves. It's a leather shelf. Let me see if I can pull it down. Yeah, here we go. And it's pretty light actually. So the box is not heavy at all. Um, I wouldn't hang too many heavy things on it. Oh, this gold one is really, really neat. So I'm gonna zoom in on it so you can see. Um, I love the way that they've got it decorated on this picture. You can put like a clock and a little plan on it. And now let me take you on one of my favorite sections, the books. So I use these books for my resources for classroom counseling lessons or small groups or even individual sessions. So I'm gonna show you the many, many options that Five Below has for resources for books. books on mindfulness, success, and progress. So if you have students who are struggling with growth mindset and resilience, um, I bought this and this is actually a really good resource that you can use for individual sessions. This one's another one that I really enjoyed, uh, the Morning Meditations book. It's a really cool book that you can use for uh, like calming down and getting students uh, ready and prepped for the morning. Here's another good one. A little book for self-care of breath work for mindfulness meditation and deep breathing. This is one that I use for our staff. It's a guided self-care journal and a book that, you, that has recommendations for different activities for self-care. Always check out the clearance section to see what kind of deals and books they have. Drawing activities, painting activities, and different collages that you can do. And look, again, it's in the clearance section. So I believe this is gonna be $2.50. They generally with their clearance items are $2.50. This looks pretty interesting. A choosing joy book, easy strategies for find, finding bliss. So you can use this for your classroom uh, or for your students in counseling lessons. And on the back it says overcoming uh, limiting beliefs, breaking bad habits, being authentic, reframing failure, building relationships, cultivating curiosity. So this actually be, be a really good book for resilience and growth mindset. Anger management workbook for kids, 50 fun activities to help children stay calm and make better choices when they feel mad. I, I'm positive that you can find something in this book to use for your individual or your uh, small group sessions. I'm definitely buying this one. 100 ways to color gratitude, so it's a coloring workbook. I come in Five Below often because I always check to see if they've restocked any new books. And you'd be amazed at how many books that I purchased from Five Below just because they're really, really good. And it's a good way to find lessons for my students. Here's a book where you can make your own stickers design. Students might love this. Oh, look at this. This might be really cool. Find Your Happy Place, a book full of mindful activities. So as you know, mindfulness helps with anxiety and depression. Y'all, I spent all my money in Five Below, I swear. So at first I thought it was only elementary school students who loved coloring, but middle schoolers love to color too. So you might be interested in finding some of these coloring books. And if they, if you don't want like superheroes or cartoons, they do have other options that I share. And here we go with the mindfulness mandala workbooks that you can use for the older students. They've got plenty of different options, animals, plants, sea life. Play-Doh and Kinetic Sand is also really cool for students as far as coping skills. So they've got some really cool Kinetic Sand that you can buy. I have some of this in my office already. They've got Slime and Goo. Here's some more games and cheap shields. <laughs> That's pretty cool, they explain it that way. Look, 
Look, they've got sorry. They've got Clue, <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> These are some little activity kits that you can use for small group sessions. Now we're at one of my favorite places to shop for inexpensive items for her office, and that is Marshalls. Uh, you're in luck if you can go to a Marshalls or a Home Goods together. And right now we're just in Marshalls. They have some really cool things that you can use to decorate your office here. They have really good notebooks and things that you use for stationery. Here's some nice things that you can put on your desk. If your initials are K or C. Be kind, that's pretty cool, depending on your color scheme of what you're going for. We've got some really nice wall art. Like this is really cool, I really like it. It doesn't fit my color scheme in my office, but I really like it for the boho look. And if you look at the price, it's, it's $40, but it's two frame picture art, so that's pretty good. Again, depending on if you want to go for that minimalist look, this is really good for $19. You can go here for something comfortable for like pillows if you have like little seating area in your office, depending on your color scheme. And if you're lucky, you can catch some stuff on clearance. Some nice storage boxes here. I use these when I don't have enough room to put all of my items that I want to hide, like files and different stuff. This is really cool actually for 60 bucks. Also got some greenery and items that you can put on, hang on your wall if you ever needed to in here. It's only 12 bucks. That's, this is actually pretty neat. I like this one too. For $9.99. For a little uh, fake plants that you can put and decorate on those shelves that you got purchased from Five Below. Many different colors. It's very colorful. Eight bucks. I like that. And of course you need some floral decorations in your office. So depending on what color scheme you're going for, this is really good. Marshall's normally has more decorations than this, but this is a start. Uh, so they've got some trays. They got some little neat little knickknacks that you can put on your desk or a shelf. Um, they've got more shelving options here. A huge nice wall shelf that would look really good in your office. Oh, I like this one too. Oh, this is really neat. They've got some different other little decorative items that you can put on your desk or on a bookshelf. I would, I would kind of stray away from anything glass if possible, just because you don't want kids to break it. But these are pretty neat color items that you can add. And you've got plenty of candles. Like I really like this one, this Be Kind candle. I wonder what it smells like. And then you've got more options for like storage for your files and your paperwork or your supplies. Letter tray. Now keep in mind, anytime you go into these stores like Marshalls or Ross or TJ Maxx, Sometimes you'll see some really good things and sometimes you won't. So you always have to kind of shop around and sometimes you might have to even go to more than one location to see what they have to offer that's different. So now I'm walking to Ross, which is in the same uh, shopping complex as you can see. So we've been to a couple stores so far. Drop in the comment section and share your favorite store to buy inexpensive items for your office or your classroom. So Ross is a really good place for inexpensive wall art. So um, we're gonna check out their wall art selection. Oh, I like this. This is really nice. I like the colors. Oh, this is nice too. This is and if you check out the prices, it's about $27, which is not bad if you wanna build something as a, a focal piece. You always want to have like a piece of art in your office that's the focus of your office. So you build around that. There's some nice mirrors that you might be able to place in your office, depending on how big it is. And some decorative wall art.
see, really inexpensive, $12 for that. But this is nice. $14. This is on clearance for $14. I like this for a little pop of color. some more storage options for you. This is good if you have like comfy items. It's a nice place to put them. Here's some things that you can put on your bookshelf. Some decorative items. Some standalone pieces that really help your office bring some focus to it. Now, a lot of these are glass. So again, I would be very hesitant if I work with elementary students to put glass objects in my office. What is it? It's 20 bucks. That's not bad. Ross has a few more comfortable items that you can use, like these chairs. This yellow this mustard one is really nice. And they've got some decorative pillows for it. It's got some nice little beanbag chairs and some stools. Oh, this pink is really nice. These are little chairs that you can put outside of your office for like a waiting area. Especially if you have like a small office like I do. You have many students you need to see. If you have enough, a big enough space for a couch, this is pretty cool. Or if you wanna do one of these little benches, this is really nice. I like this one over here. Oh, that's really nice. So our last destination is the at-home store. This is an amazing store because they have things that you can use to decorate your office, your home, your lawn care, all of those things. So I really love coming in here, but I'm gonna be honest, it can be overwhelming if you don't know what you're looking for because they have so many different options. So we're gonna start with like little knickknacks that you can use for your office desk or bookshelf. And you, so you can see here's the value section. They've got little things. I love how they have little setups already for you so that you can see how things look. Like examples. And it looks like these are like pastel colors. But they've got plenty of other options. I use these little pillows in my office as a nice decorative piece. Like especially I have this color, I use it. More accent pieces for a bookshelf. At-home stores are a really good place if you need like gold or silver items or like pastel colors. Oh, this is a really nice setup. Love these little decorative balls that they have because you can put these in a little wooden basket on your desk or on a bookshelf. Look like they're about $7 a piece. So not too expensive. Here's the clearance section. Sometimes you can find some really nice items in the clearance section. They have a really large clearance selection. And it's located all around the store. This isn't on clearance, but it's actually a really good thing to use for a decoration for like a little coffee table or something. Oh, this is really nice, this section, if you have like a black and white design for your office. I don't know who their designers are, but they have some really awesome designers that put together really nice pieces. a nice tray a 
Well, I come to the at-home store when I need paintings or framed art for my office or my home because they have some really, really nice pieces and a large selection. I'm gonna show you what I use for my gallery wall in my office and at home. So these are really inexpensive and I use these uh, positive affirmations for my gallery wall. Like I really love this one, less worry, more faith, stay positive, work hard. And if you're an elementary school counselor, they have plenty of options that will make your place warm and inviting. Oh, I like this. Look at this. You are braver than you believe. And again, what I love about at home store is that like all the bottom shelves are um, clearance items and they're usually 50% off. So you can get some really nice stuff for inexpensive here. Here's another area where you can get some really nice wall art for positive affirmations. For my office, I have a gold color scheme. So these would be really good if I wanted to switch out some of these. I like this one too. You are capable of amazing things. Oh, these are really nice for keeping it simple, especially the black and white, like inspire, dream. If you wanna do a gallery wall, that's really, really simple. All you do is find a couple pieces like this in different shapes and then make a design and put them in like different placements on your wall. It's really simple. I'll show you an example of mine, how it looks. I also come here for a large painting or framed art for a focal point in my office. Yes, office furniture if you want desk or different decorative pieces depending on how big your space is. Now these are a little pricier but they're really worth it or you can use these for your home. If you have a bookshelf or one of those cube shelves these are really good because you can find some really colorful storage bins that you can use to decorate those uh, bookshelves. If you're looking for different things that you can use to light up your space here's some different lights that you can use. LED string lights. Oh, these little llama ones are cute. This will be my first vlog style video, so I would love to hear your feedback in the comment section below to see if you'd like to see more vlog style videos from me.